Hi, Oliver Lynn here, Fleet Maintenance Manager of JLE Industries. Today we want to talk about driving and performance. Now there's a lot of folks out there that uh, might not think that those two words should be in the same sentence. We've been driving literally for over a hundred years, driving vehicles. Technology is relatively new, but here at JLE we invest heavily in te technology. We are proud of the technology that we incorporate into our vehicles to maximize performance of our vehicles. We're going to go over some of the features that I'm talking about in today's video. Eddie Schranko is going to personally walk through steps of Optimize Idle, Park Smart, using the cruise control, uh, talking about e-coast, uh, talking about descent control, talking about proper shifting procedures. Those are all things that can help us improve fuel economy and help keep us proudly driven. Hello everybody, my name is Ed Schranko. I'm the Assistant Maintenance Manager here at JLE Industries. Today we're going to be talking about some of the features that our classic Freightliners have and our new style Freightliners have. As you can see, the new Freightliners have the black front end with the front black mirrors. It's a different in a dash how to set the optimized idle. And in the classic, they have the chrome front end, chrome mirrors, and it's a little bit different inside also to set your cruise control, your optimized idle, and your park smart. Okay guys, so here we are in our classic Cascadia, the ones with the chrome front end, the chrome mirrors. The truck is idling right now. You just got to your destination. Make sure it's in neutral. Your brake is set. All you simply do on the steering wheel, top left button, you press it one time, and as you can see in the dash, idle management light blinks. You have to leave the key on and you do nothing else. This truck will idle until all eight batteries are fully charged. When all eight batteries are fully charged, the truck will shut off. You have to make sure it's in neutral. If you had an automatic, make sure it's clicked in the neutral or the optimized idle will not work. One of the biggest problems that drivers have with the optimized idle or the park smart is they forget to leave the fan on in the bunk. You have to leave the fan motor on at least one or two or whatever you want to. If you don't leave the fan on, you're telling the optimized idle computer that you don't need nothing and the truck will not start up on its own. What I like about the optimized idle in the cold weather, the truck will start up and shut off as needed as your batteries go dead. Um, it keeps your fuel a little bit warmer and it's good for you when you're doing a 34 hour reset. Um, again, you got to make sure neutral, automatic and a neutral up here. Make sure your park brake is set. You leave the truck running. Just simply press the cruise button one time. Hey guys, so one of the common mistakes that people make, they cannot get the optimized auto to come on. Uh, again, we got to our destination. Scroll down, hit optimize idle, hit OK. Turn it on, hit OK. This truck shut off and it should have started back up again, but as you can hear, it did not. One of the common mistakes is the blower motor back here. So watch when I turn this blower motor on, you'll hear the buzzer come on in five seconds, then the truck's gonna fire up. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that drivers make that they do not leave that blower motor turned on. Okay, so now we're in one of our new Cascadias that have the black front end, black mirrors. It's a little bit more complicated in the dash to set the optimized idle than the older style trucks. It works the same way. Uh, you drove all day, your batteries all should be charged. You get to where you're at, you make sure that it's in neutral, brake set, and all you simply do with the buttons on the dash on the left hand side, you scroll over to the picture of the truck hit OK. Optimize Auto comes up, you hit OK again. Then it'll come up Interior Comfort. Click over to the right. As you can see, it turns it on. Hit OK again. The truck will shut off. Providing the batteries still need charge, the truck will start up on its own, providing that you have it in neutral, brake set, and the fan motor is on in the back. As right now, you can hear the truck just idled up 
and this truck will run 15 minutes, a half an hour, it just depends how low your batteries were, but naturally if you ran all day, the battery should be fully charged, the truck should run 10-15 minutes, shut off, and then you go into your optimized idle and set your temperature, hot or cold, whatever temperature that you need.